So you might be at that point in your career where you like, yo, I need to start working with some artists. I need to find some artists. Like, how do I find artists? How do I connect with different artists, different brands, things like that? There's a few things that I know for sure producers should know that will help them attract more artists as well as brands, things like that or just working with artists that will equal brand deals or sync deals or sync, you know, licensing. So if you're ready to work with artists and really build your sound and really become a real music producer, not just a beat maker, but a music producer, watch this video all the way through because I got some things that I really feel like you need to know. All right, let's get into it. Music producers, what's up? And welcome back to another video. It's me, they call me Heat. If this is your first time watching any videos on my channel today, I'm a music producer of over 15 years. And on my channel right here, I show producers how to make some of the best boom bap hip hop style beats. Now I've been doing this for over 15 years and I know you're probably gonna say, well, yeah, heat is easy for you cause you've been doing it. That's absolutely true, <laughs> it is. But the things that I know I can share with you and I can lend them to you and I can give them to you to help you skip 10 years of learning and things like that. Everybody wants to be great and everybody can be great, but a lot of us will hinder ourselves, or we may not make it that far because there are a few steps that we miss along the way that will kind of push us to the back burner. So number one, I'm gonna say for sure, as a music producer, you need to know how to take the lead. You have to be able to lead. And that doesn't just mean go in a session and be like, yo, do it like this. And then that's it. No, that means you know your dolls. You know how to like work the doll. And that not just FL Studio, but you know how to work Pro Tools. You know how to work Studio One. You know how to work Ableton. Even if you don't like to work in those specific programs, if you go to a studio session and they're using a specific program, you need to know how to use it. You need to know how to work. You at least need to know the basics of it. Through my years of, of engineering or making music, making beats, things like that, I've not, I haven't just used one program. I've stuck with one program, but I've used a bunch of them. So I've used FL Studio to make beats. I've used Logic to make beats and record. I've used Pro Tools to record. I've used Cakewalk Sonar, Adobe Audition. Like I've used so many different programs that I know the basics of every program now. Not that I know all of them and how to truly work them, but I can open up any DAW, figure out the hotkeys, and then I'm good to go because I already know the basics of pretty much every DAW, just because every DAW is the same. Learn how to, you know, communicate to an artist in the studio. Artists don't know the producer language. They don't know certain things that we might talk about in a session or certain things that producers might be talking about. They don't know. That's okay. They don't have to know that. They're the artist. But we as a producer, we need to know our language and their language because we're the ones helping create the songs. We're the ones that are taking the lead and making sure that the song goes from nothing to something. Now I play a double role. I'm a music producer and I'm an audio engineer as well. So I know production and I know how to mix and master as well. So I can I can juggle both worlds. If you can take these steps and learn these steps, learn the things that you need to actually know so that when you get in the studio with an artist or, or whoever, you're ready to go, you're ready to cook up, you know how to keep the session moving. Yo, listen, if you struggle at all with making better beats or if you struggle with mixing your beats, let's say you got great beats, but you just struggle with making it sound good, head over to Boom Bap university.com i have a few courses over there that will help you with your beat making process as well as your mixing process you gotta have better beats in order to sell more beats you gotta have better beats to get more placements right let me help you with that i got the cooking that boom bat master class which will walk you through the full beat making process as to how i make my beats and also have the mixing and mastering your beats like a pro master class which will show you exactly the full process as to how to mix your beats and there's a bonus in there as well on how to mix vocals too so i'm going to show you all of that at boombabuniversity.com head over there grab up those courses i promise you 15 years of proven experience to get you right all right let's get back into the video now sometimes producers we know how to talk to each other we know how to say hey okay your turn oh well, well my turn you know when we're making a beat together. But when we get in this in a room with an artist or just someone who doesn't, like I said, speak our language, we feel a way. We feel like, yo, you can't tell me how to, you know, 
create my stuff. You can't tell me how to make my things. But that's one thing that's gonna hinder us a lot. You have to be able to take constructive criticism. You have to know that somebody in the room is not gonna like what I got. And that's fine, it's absolutely fine, that's okay. Because somewhere in there, they will like something that you have. So you have to be able to take constructive criticism from the artist or whoever you may be creating for as a producer and allow them the room to create, allow them the space to be creative. We have started the process by making the beat. Now it's the next person's turn to be creative. You know, you might have made a beat and you thought that that lead sound you put in there was crazy, cracking. And the artist is like, oh, I don't like that, take that out. And you feel like, oh, inside. But we have to know the artist may be right. Cause if that song comes out to be a hit, if it comes out to be great, if it comes out to be a really amazing song, we stopped ourselves from being able to do that by not allowing them the room to be creative, not allowing ourselves to take that criticism. And it's not really criticism when they say they don't like something. It's more so just a preference thing. Okay, let's try that. Let's save this as a new version and now let's try your way. And let's go back and forth and listen to the different versions to see which one really is good. The best music is created when it comes to working with an artist or working with any just any anybody by everyone having an opinion and everyone being able to say that's good no that's not good that's okay let's save that for later and come back to it so allow yourself to to take constructive criticism allow yourself to be open to new ideas because again you we get stuck in our ways as producers and that's one thing that will always hold us back and hinder us from being able to just be the best that we can be. Now, before I move on to the, the last thing that I have for you, I just wanna say, if you're liking this information, if this is helping you in any type of way and you got any type of value out of what I've already spoke on, please don't be afraid hit the like button down below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel as well because I give content like this every single week, absolutely free, all right? So yeah, don't miss out on it. Hit that subscribe button for me and definitely hit that thumbs up. Now, the last thing that I'm gonna say, honestly, is pretty cliche. And it's easy to say from somebody that's been doing it for a long time, but even I run into the roadblocks of what I'm about to say. You know, I still have hiccups in the road when it comes to this and that's just, being confident in your production, being confident in yourself, right? We'll listen to producers, you know, we'll be like, man, he's so great, he's so amazing, and get in the room with that producer and then feel like I'm not better, I'm not good as them, you know? But we're all great in our own right, in our own way, in our own sound, in our own style, we're all great. Don't forget that. Always be confident. When you walk into a room, you don't have to walk in and be like, yo, I'm the best out here. But when you walk in the room, make sure you let people know, yo, how you doing? I'm I'm so-and-so, yo, what's up? I'm whoop, whoop, whoop. Sit back, sit in the cut, you know, chill. But when it's time to really put that music on, don't give an explanation as to, oh, this beat, oh, I made this last year and uh, I ain't really mix it like that. That's not confidence. If it's your turn to play beats, play beats. Look at the room, look around in the room. And if people is rocking, cool. If they not, move to the next. But remain confident regardless of if people aren't feeling it. Always remain confident. People told Kanye he was too confident, but Kanye became one of the greatest artists ever to live on this earth. Do not ever think about if someone loves it or if someone, you know, if they don't like it or whatever, like it doesn't matter. Because if you, you know, if you only playing it for a select few, there's millions of people in the world, millions of rappers. <laughs> Millions of brands who might like that song or that that beat or whatever. So just because three or four people don't like it doesn't mean that now, you know, you're the wackest producer and you don't have good beats or you just need to be mad at the world. You now say, all right, that's cool. That's not for y'all. Here, I got some more. But always remain confident even when people aren't showing, you know, interest. Just always remain confident. We've heard very whack songs. We're very not good songs. But because someone was super confident <laughs> in that product, in that sound, in that style, in that rhythm, whatever, it, it made it through to the masses because of that confidence. So we're speaking on this subject and I just want to make sure that you all know out there that I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching with music producers, music artists, whatever, to where we can talk about anything that you wanna talk about as far as growing as a music producer. So you may wanna grow your brand, you may wanna figure out a, a social media content plan, you know, you may wanna talk about just beat making in general or how to just, you know, you might wanna, you might need my help on making a beat on the fly. Anything you wanna do, I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. So don't forget that, boombabuniversity.com is where you can get that from. Go right up to producer, coaching and yeah i'm gonna take care of you all right so if you like what you saw today please be sure 
hit that thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well and until next time y'all i'm about to here see you next week peace